To some people, this is just a library, but to me, it's a home. I had been a student bookkeeper for two and a half months, and it was the best two and a half months of my life. I would do anything for the library, the people, and the books. It was a Thursday, April 2nd. It was a normal day, or at least I thought. books. All the ones checked out were confirmed by me, of course, to have been returned back in on Tuesday. Uh, a missing book. My goodness. Uh, I don't know how this happened. They'll, they'll fire me or worse, they'll... In the two and a half months that I had worked at the library, a book had never gone missing. It was my greatest pride. There was no chance the book had gone missing of natural causes. Someone had to be blamed. Ah, uh, yes. My first suspect. Conveniently on the scene of the crime. There is no one more devious than a local library bookworm. You. for an interview. Okay. So. Angel. Yeah, Angla. You like reading, don't you? Yeah, I'm a pretty avid reader. Hmm, pretty avid reader. You uh, check out books often from the library? From this library, perhaps? Occasionally. Occasionally. Well, have you ever heard of a book called War and Peace? Doesn't ring a bell. I can't say I have. Well, it's a pretty classic book. I'd figured such an avid reader like you would know about it. It's pronounced avid. And I'm sorry, but I don't know what to tell you. Maybe you could ask Bob. Bob. Bob Hotlicks, the perfect suspect. I'd only had one class with Bob, and it was back when we were freshmen at the school. We did not speak once. That's a classic sign of a sociopath. He's the most likely suspect so far. What was he even doing in the library? I had never seen him in there before. Maybe he had finally snapped, taken something he knew wasn't easy to replace. And he might have gotten away with it. I was running out of time. It would only be a few days, maybe even just a few hours, before someone else noticed the missing book. They'd want answers. Answers that I did not have. Do you like reading? Are you a real avid reader? Avid. But no, not really. Really? How do you explain this then? On March 30th, you claim to have returned War and Peace. It's registered in your name, and it would appear you have returned the book. No such book has been found in the return section. Yeah, that's creepy. 
I've never even heard of that book before. It sounds like a fake book, to be honest. <laughs> it's a classic book, okay? Maybe if you read more, you'd see that your name is right there in the checkout date. I think you have me confused with my sister, Bonnie. This <sighs> is her name. Fine, but you're still a suspect. A prime suspect, even. Okay. Here's Bonnie's number. I'm sorry about your missing book. You said you need to be my sister, Bonnie. Mm -hmm. Check that. Bonnie, if that's even your real name. It is. Uh huh. Are you an Ovid reader? It's Ovid. <laughs> I'll be doing the corrections around here. Do you recognize this? I checked out the book last week for my history class. It was boring. I didn't finish reading it. And then I turned it back in. I even have the receipt with me right here. Come on. This could easily be a forgery. Isn't that your name right there? Confirming that you helped me check it back in. It's impossible to know whose name it is for certain. Okay. Can I go back to class? I know you had something to do with the missing book, you little- Maybe if they got a better detective on the case, they could actually find the missing book. Good luck. <sighs> it has to be a conspiracy. They are all in it together. I just, I need more evidence, more proof. But how? I need more yarn. Shh! No talking in the library. 